Lab-grown chicken has cracked the U.S. consumer market with the sale of cultivated meats given approval by the regulator. The move heralds a new era of meat production aimed at eliminating harm to animals and drastically reducing the environmental impacts of grazing, feed cultivation and animal waste. Often anything that's new, you know, whether it's an electric car or it's chat GBT, it, it feels strange, a little peculiar uh, initially. But after a period of time, it becomes ubiquitous and boring. And that's eventually the path for cultivated meat. The meat is grown in steel tanks, starting with animal cells, a fertilized egg or a special bank of stored cells. Cultivated meat, put really simply, is real meat that is grown from animal cells. So if you imagine the meat that we have loved and eaten for tens of thousands of years, um, the meat that we cultivate is actually biologically the same, but it's made in a whole new way. After seven to 14 days or a little longer, depending on what we're making, we harvest the cells and then we can make it into any meat product that you love. So it could be a chicken filet, it could be a hamburger, a hot dog, um, it could be pretty much anything that you can think of. The techniques are yet to be approved for Australia, despite lab-made plant-based options growing in popularity. The process is also much more expensive than farming birds and can't yet be produced on the same scale. But the real question is, would you be game to try it or are you chicken? Who are you targeting as a customer? And especially who is going to eat this? If you're not forced to eat lab-grown meat, while you will be eating lab-grown meat.